Good afternoon. Glory to God Almighty. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Your Holiness, Martha Mahmoud's third, the Catholic Church and the Malangara Metropolitan and President of this institution. His Grace, Dr. Johann Ma Dometrios, Vice President of this institution, Reverend Father Saji Abraham, Dyson Secretary, Professor John Burris, Principal of St. Stephen's College, Respected Priest, Members of the Malangara Sabha Mining Committee, Delhi Dyson Council Members, Reverend Sisters, Principals, especially the former Principal, Mr. Ch Mr. Charles, Office bearers and members of all the churches, Office bearers of Faridabad Church and the school, teaching and non-teaching staff, Mr. Sarah George Mutut, Mr. Alexander George Mutut, Mr. Alexander Daniel IPS, Mrs. Rema Alexander Daniel, Mr. Sabu, dear students of St. Thomas family, as well as all dignitaries and well-wishers present here. It brings immense joy to welcome this esteemed gathering on this auspicious occasion. The construction of this state-of-the-art auditorium has been a labor of love, a collaborative effort involving the dedication hard work of numerous individuals, from the architect who envisaged it, to the builders who brought it to life, to the school administration that oversee every detail. This auditorium is not merely a structure of bricks and mortar. It is a space where ideas will be shared, talents will be showcased and memorized, and memories will be created for generations to come. In the true spirit of our school's mission, this auditorium will serve as a platform for fostering intellectual curiosity, artistic expression, and the holistic development of our students. It will witness countless events from academic symposiums to cultural performance, all contributing to the rich tapestry of experiences that define a comprehensive education. As we stand on the threshold of a new chapter in our school's history, let us look forward with optimism and determination. May this auditorium become a hub for creativity, innovation and inspiration where the seeds of knowledge are sown and the fruits of wisdom are harvested. As we inaugurate this auditorium, I, will, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all of you who have generously helped and work relentlessly for the upliftment of the school. As we celebrate 40 glorious years of service in the field of education, I bow my head in the supreme and divine presence of God Almighty, who made me worthy enough to stand before you and welcome each one of you. This auditorium stands as a tribute to the blessed memory of His Grace, Dr. Paulus Margiregorius, the first metropolitan of the Delhi Diocese. Let me quote and memorize one sentence of Dr. Paulus Margiregorius. 1991, April 30th, the present Catholicus was consecrated as a metropolitan of Malangar Orthodox Church along with other five metropolitans. That day at Parimala, I met the blessed late Dr. Paulus Margiris, 
to, to get a kalpana for Faridabha's church. I met him. Then he asked me, Father, you didn't join? I said, no. Why? I didn't get a kalpana. My word is as equal as kalpana. Go and take charge immediately and report to me immediately. This is a word uttered or said by the late Dr. Paulus Margulos. That is why still I am standing here. That is why still I am working here. That encouraging and prophetic words of my beloved mentor, my guru, not only my guru, my father's guru. I bow my head. I bow my head before the blessed memory of Dr. Paulus Mar Gregorios. Before we move to the responsibility bestowed on me of welcoming each one of you, I would like to fondly remember those days when the church members were struggling to acquire, a press, acquire the present land for the school premises. Mr. B. George, late Mr. M. G. George Mutut, and late Mr. K. Koshi IP's officer rendered their helping hand to acquire the land the, for the school. My sincere thanks to them. I would also like to remember the contributions of late Reverend Father T. C. Matai and the then principal, Mrs. Patma Shandaraman, who worked tirelessly for the growth of this institution, and Mrs. Kavita Vasarani of ZBSC, who was a guiding force for the school at the time of the inspection. And it is said that every drop is precious. I wish to recollect the relentless efforts of the former Vigars who has served this institution from time to time, time to time, office bearers and members of St. Mary's Orthodox Church, principals and the staff of St. Thomas School for every help they have done for the upliftment of the school. Without further delay, let me make this opportunity to welcome all present. The chief celebrant of the service of blessing and inauguration is none other than the supreme head of Malangara Orthodox Syrian Church and the Catholicos of the East and the president of this institution, His Holiness Basilius Martoma Matthews III, the Malangara Bartholomew. He is the epitome of knowledge a great philanthropist and has been a guiding light for many, leading with wisdom, compassion and a commitment to the service of the humanity. His Holiness is a firm believer and carries a noble and magnificent persona. His Holiness has always worked in favor of humanity and has always guided and supported us. We all are blessed to have your divine presence amongst us. I once again take this opportunity to welcome your holiness on behalf of the Ender St. Thomas family. I would like to welcome the Diocese Metropolitan His Grace Dr. Johanna Demetrius. His grace is a learned person with a spirited smile. He has a deep ecumenical knowledge and is a soulful leader who inspires positive change in society, nurturing a culture of trust, growth and transformation. By embracing our authentic selves, fostering empathy and compassion, and leading with purpose and integrity for the well-being of the people while achieving remarkable success. He has been a teacher to many of my fellow priests here and has always been an ardent supporter of the activities of the school. We welcome your grace to this Augustus gathering. I would like to welcome Reverend Father Saji Abraham, the Diocese Secretary, Secretary. Achan does not need any formal introduction as he is well known and distinguished figure in the church. 
he is highly respected and known for his kind deeds and selfless services for the society. Achal is like a younger brother to me, who always with a generous smile stood strong with us and has been encouraging for all of us. We welcome you, Achal. We are extremely honored to have Professor John Burris, Principal of St. Stephen's College, Delhi, as our keynote speaker. As we all know, St. Stephen's College has, been, has long been recognized as a bastion of academic excellence and a nurturing ground for leaders and visionaries. Under the dynamic leadership of Professor John Burris, the college has continued to uphold its reputation for fostering intellectual curiosity and providing a holistic education that goes beyond the confines of a textbook. He brings a wealth of experience, insight, and a passion for education that has undoubtedly contributed to the success and prestige of St. Stephen's College. We welcome Professor John Baragissa. I would like to welcome all my brother priests of the Lives of Delhi and other sister churches, reverend sisters, respected principals, Mr. T.M. Sabu, Ms. Chris Matai, and Mr. Sabu's family, and all the Malangara Sabha, Manning Committee members, council members. Office parades from different churches and all the leaders from different communities. We welcome you, sir, on this auspicious occasion. And also, I am happy to welcome Principal Mr. Vinod Joseph, Mr. Samuel Thomas, Rector of the Society and the School, Mr. Arun C. George, Secretary of the Church and the Society, Mr. Ashish Philip, Treasurer of the Faridabad Church whose presence is individual for the growth of the society. We welcome all of you. I wish to welcome the wholeheartedly again Mr. Sabu TM and Chris Matai, the mind and soul behind this beautiful structure. His team has been backbone of this project, working tirelessly to turn dreams into reality. Today we gather not only to witness the completion of a physical structure, but to celebrate the collective effort, skill and commitment that have transformed architecture plans and impressive edifice that stands before us. Welcome Mr. Sabu and family and Chris Madai. It is to the great honor and enthusiasm that I extend a warm welcome to distinguished individuals who have played a pivotal role in the guiding us in guiding us through the arc interactivities and advancements of this project. Mr. James, the technical advisor, Mr. Tra Daniel Panikter, as well as the construction committee. I also welcome the teaching and non-teaching staff and my dear students who are an, an integral part of the institution. As I stand here, I am able to see the spark and pride in our eyes. To see the your school is growing in leaps and bounds. It would be incomplete if I did not welcome this August gathering. All the members of different churches, sister churches, and members of Faridaba St. Mary's Church. Let Lord God Almighty bless all of us. Thank you very much. <laughs> 